Welcome everyone to a brand new game today. This is Planet Nomads and in the recent questionnaire I posted for everybody to vote on the live streams, this was one of the options. Well, it did not win the live stream vote. It became second place and I'm going ahead counting off what the live stream vote is at now. So Empyrean won. This came in second. So because it came in second, we're going to add it as a game for the Monday rotation. And hopefully, maybe this weekend, maybe next weekend, start the live streams for Empyrean. Now, this is a game very similar to Empyrean, and it's in development. Uh, as you can see, we're in the future, not very far future, 2065. We are, you know, receiving signals from Constellation Eridanus. So, I guess we're sending somebody out there. It's not just a, we're in the future and we are crash landing. Instead, this is we're actually out on a mission and something happens, I'm assuming, that, you know, hey, we're not, <laughs> we don't land safely. Oh, yeah, we're looking for planets to mine and terraform. Ah, something happens. So, yes, we do crash land. We actually get to see a little bit of our ship in this one as opposed to Empyrean where we just kind of open up and we're falling in the life pod. But here we go. Let's see what we got. Now, this is... Again, similar to Empyrean, it's a building top game, but it has much higher quality graphics than Empyrean. And my understanding, the building setup is a little different. We can see already we're in the life pod. We don't get to steer it the way we do in Empyrean. So that's definitely different. So we're not picking where we land. We just kind of land. And uh, it don't look so bad. I saw some blood splatter. And let's see what we got. All right, so walk around, of course. Normal. We've already got all these markers showing up on the map. That's interesting. Oh, we do have some wreckage. And, oh, an animal over there. All right, let's see. Uh, let's, I don't know if I can take anything apart from the wreckage. Oh, flashlight. F is flashlight. That's simple enough. Let's see if that's the case. Well, yeah. Oh, oh, I made him mad. I just started. I've already made something mad. Uh. Oh, I already have jetpacks on. I don't even have to turn them on. That's why I hit J, brought up some weird menu, and right then, I made Mr. I, I guess monkey or you know ape top thing mad because he kind of started beating his chest at me. All right, let's see what can we do here. Can I collect anything? Oh, okay. So right. Trigger does something with that. Not sure about the left trigger, what that does. Let's see. Shooting something and did something with all right. Inventory. Let's see. Purified water, biomass container. So all right, that's the fuel source. And nutrition capsules and bandages. It keeps saying I need to bandage myself, but my health is slowly regenerating. So I think we'll just wait. Save the bandage. For later. Wow, this is this is a game I've been wanting to start for a while. And look at this. This just looks amazing. Uh, especially compared to Empyrean. This is so much better in the graphics. Let's see, can I do something with Tree? I I don't have a chainsaw. Ah! So I've just got this multi-tool type thing that takes care of breaking rocks and chopping down trees and such, I guess. Oh, I do have a limited amount of power per charge. I can't just shoot endlessly. Okay. I did something there. I blew it up. Alright. <laughs> Let's check inventory to see. So I've got a lot of biomass. I'm not getting anything else. Hey, it's a horse. Some kind of horse. I, I'm saying this, not only are the graphics better, but the animal, the creature animations are much better in this than in Empyrean. Empyrean, it, it feels like they're an afterthought. It's not like, oh, we want the creatures to be really organic feeling. Let's see what this does. That's, all right, so that's little beam. That's big beam. Did I get something different? No, I didn't. So I'm not sure how to get wood in this. If I'm even supposed to get wood in this. Oh, wreck container. Wreck container. Let's see. Journal. Okay. Got, oh, 
All right, I guess double click is the only way to work with that. What we got here? Inner wall. Ah, disassemble. That's it. So I can disassemble stuff. It actually breaks it down to the frame. What was that? Is that something I get? Yep. Ah, oh, I like this. I definitely like this deconstruction method better than the way it was done in Space Engineers. That's just overly complicated. Now, I know some people like that kind of thing, but for me, going from Empyrean to Space Engineers was just a bad experience so far. It's very overly complicated in comparison. This seems to be a nice middle ground so far. All right, so we've got, it looks like fireflies, fairies or something like that. Oh, gather, let's see, so that's different. Ah, fruitage and seeds, interesting. That's different. So maybe it's not just using the gun to take things apart, but actually can gather other stuff as well. Through using E. Let's look around a bit. See if I can find something else to use E on. That's different. That is definitely some kind of resource deposit. Iron and carbon. Good bit of iron and carbon. My sensors show you are slightly thirsty. Whoa! What? I'm being attacked by bees or something. Dehydration level critical. Oh, Crap, I'm going to die already. Uh. Alright. I don't know if that was actually supposed to happen because the bees are attacking me or something else, but... I see all this stuff swarming around me and... Then I start getting a dehydration warning and... That's interesting. I like the fact there's actually... Bees. Or bee-like you know, insects in this that swarm around you like that. That is definitely very encouraging seeing something like that in this game. It makes me feel like there's been a lot more attention paid to the environmental elements of the game than it seems to be on Empyrean. Right now, they seem to be doing a lot more towards the ships and things like that. And I wish the environments were pushed a little bit better and the quality level. Let's get up top. Let's take a look around. It looks like it's nighttime almost. I see some fairies. Oh, another thing to gather from. All right. What'd I get? What'd I get? Don't tell me that was just some more biomass. Oh, fruitage. I've got fruit. No telling if it spoils yet or not, but I do have fruit, so I have something I can eat beyond just the nutrition was it pellets that I was able to get at the very beginning? I see some more bee things over there. Alright, so I guess... I'm not seeing anything really super tall. No super tall mountains in the area right now. No large peaks or cliffs to climb up. Oh, and I'm out of room. Really? Wow, okay. So, I don't get that much room for anything. Uh. I. Oh, there we go. So, right click does something. Alright, let's see. Following your footsteps. Yeah, yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Now, can I pick it up? Yes, I can. Oh, temperature warning. Already getting. Oh, man. I don't have- where am I supposed to hide? I can't even see now. It's gotten so dark and this rain's coming in so thick. Come on, I'm crouching under the uh, tree. I'm under the tree. Uh, it's not helping. What am I supposed to do? I don't see caves or anything anywhere. Alright, there's the beehive top thing. Oh, yeah, that's that's not good. This is not off to a very good start. I'm already about to freeze to death. I don't even think I have the resources necessary to build anything yet. Uh, oh, hollow it out. Yes. Oh, OK, so we can do that at least. Let me look, see if it's still raining. Yep. 
So I guess to uh, cut down on resource usage uh, or, you know, processing usage, that has turned off when you walk inside. So, all right. Welcome to our humble little, you know, home for right now. I call oh, I can actually mine this out too. Okay, so we have building blocks. This is everything I have available right now. And apparently I get a different toolbar for that. And okay, so I'm in some kind of, I guess, building mode. I don't seem to be... Uh, uh, able to, yeah, oh, they, okay, so tab took me out of it, it's tab, okay, so tab puts you into a building mode, that's interesting, and let's say we've got processing here, I can make frames, glass, front parts, all right, so we've got some stuff we can actually make here, a sleeping bag, let's see, what, what materials do I need, I can't get to let me keep it hovered, fabric, great, okay, um, how, how do I make fabric? Fabric is carbon, silicon, and that. So let's say I'm going to make two. Ah, and it, that's nice. It tells you how long it's going to take for that to go through. We're going to do this. I'm going to get a sleeping bag going. We at least can have that. And it's not working. It's pow power off? No. No power on? Okay. It's not doing anything. Maybe I am supposed to provide it some kind of power source? It... Inventory. Oh, duh. I need to put the resources in. So I need carbon and iron. Or what was it? Carbon and silicon and biomass. Well, I got biomass stuff. Silicon and carbon. That more car yep, more carbon there. There it goes. Now we've got it going. I need a way to say this is where my stuff is at. Oh. I seem to have lost lost power for a moment where my flashlight went out. Alright, let's let's get up higher. Maybe I can get a lay of the land type thing. It's morning now. So that's a very short night. Ooh, I've got some range on that, it looks like. Not a lot, but some. Alright, tired. Ooh. It's like a... gift box in the distance there. Like, green box wrapped with a yellow bow. Alright, uh, yeah. I guess I'm gonna have to remember, I'm heading west, so I need to come back east. Uh, that's pretty much what I've got right now, because there is nothing showing than my escape pod and I'm apparently not very far from my escape pod right now let's get some more fruitage so I have some more food and I was right it is a boss a gift wrapped boss what are you what is this thing here a wreck beacon oh I, ah Let's see, what? Superfood, electrolyte water, battery. Oh, man. I've got so much stuff, I don't have a place for it. Uh, so I think... Let's stay somewhere close to here. So I know I need to go back east over there. That's where my thing is. I see all these little plateaus, you know, hills over here. Let's go up this way. See about building a base somewhere over this way. Let's see. Let's go ahead, place down... A base foundation type thing. Uh, and I'll take that thing apart and put it somewhere else afterwards. Let's see. Can I do... Like, yes, I can have it stick out a bit. That's awesome. And it does, in some regard, uh, automatically position. Not sure I want to have it be up on the ground level. I could actually just have this extend outwards. Uh, if I can get it to line up, the aligning part seems to be a little wonky, but not that bad. It does snap in place at least. That, that does not look right there. All right, let's build a piece. 
or two and get this kind of going. I believe I've got enough supplies for it. Let's see. Yeah, I still got enough so I can build this. May just build like a base piece that covers up the whole thing here. Cover up this little area below so I don't fall. I don't seem to have anything that requires a support strut. And I've got some new stuff. Compact fad machine. So, you know, we got to keep up with all the fads in this game. Even though we're not on Earth anymore, we got to keep up with the latest fads. So I started trying to take apart the skate pod and it didn't give me any resources, no supplies from it. But you can re-enter it and it tells you you can hit space bar to sleep. So I'm going to go ahead and sleep. Get eight hours of sleep in. Which, wow, that was you quick. Well rested. So there we go, okay. So here it is at night time. But yeah, if I just sit here... I can do this, and you can see the health going down, but I'm not getting any resources. Oh, I finally get some resources, so apparently it takes quite a while. So this is definitely one you want to get kind of piece by piece. So, lesson learned. Do not go very far from where your escape pod lands. Just go ahead and build nearby and start tearing that and your other pieces of ship wreckage apart for supplies early in the game. Okay, so here we go. I've got everything to make my compact fad machine. I also found that I picked up a mission manual data pad. So let's take a look at this. Crew of 37, goals, recon, and scan for habitable exoplanets. Construction of research outposts, getting terraforming going. And yeah, okay, that doesn't really tell me much more about what I need to do here. Let's see. Uh, okay, so obviously I need power of some sort, and let's see, I've got new things, so I've got a switchboard, crucial component for advanced electricity usage, to link multiple energy sources to multiple devices, okay, and biogenerator, create electricity from biomass containers, only power a single device at a time, you know what, I think we're gonna have to go with one of each of these, and I kind of feel like maybe I should do... The biomass container thingy here. Get that. Place! Oh, I still need the basic frame just to place it down. Okay. So apparently you have to have certain resources just to place it down. And then to continue building on it. Yeah, okay, there we go. And I'm missing some parts. I need some more plating and such. Let's see. Did I use up everything I had? I think I may. Uh, yeah, electronic parts. I think I am short of electronic parts. Now, here we go. Let's try this. What can I do to make some electronic parts? I need silicon and carbon. Well, I've got carbon in it. Let's grab some silicon from over here, which I don't have much of. Go ahead and top off my carbon stockpile over here as well. Alright, I need one. Just give me one. That's all I want. So maybe this fad machine is like fabrication and something. Not sure what, but maybe this will replace the little survival generator thing. Alright, so we have this. Is there a way to split? No, it's not. Can't split it. Alright, let's see. No power. Well, why do I have no power to it? I mean, this is on. Why do, maybe I have to build a switch thing just to get it to power it? Like, where... Alright, where does this switch thing go? Not very much on the... Uh, information here with this. Let's see. I may have to take the fad machine out from there. I think I'm going to do that. Hopefully I get everything back. I don't lose anything. We'll try this again. Let's see, was it three? Yes, there we go. Put you a little bit further out. Let's do that a little further away from there. There we go. All right, now. Oh, oh, Duh, no. What? 
not linking anything. All right, let's see what what we got. Medium greenhouse. So now I may actually be able to plant some seeds soon. Reinforced wall corner. That could be helpful. Uh, solar beacon. Mark points. Yes, I get some way to mark where I'm at. Of course, I'm right next to the survival pod. So, you know, escape pod. I don't think I have to worry about that too much here. Uh, I don't know where I, what I'm supposed to do to link this. It does not give me much in regards to this. Uh, oh, okay. So set up. All right, let's get out of this. Let's go here. Go back here. We'll do this. We're going to link it. Or maybe connect electricity. There we go. Okay. That's a little weird. But it's working. So we got a compact fad machine here. We can make some dried fruitage. That's good. All right, let's do that. Let's talk. Let's toss that in there. Oh, and yes, I have enough dried meat. I haven't killed anything yet, but we can make bio paste. Food of last resort. Yeah, it doesn't sound very appetizing. So I have that going. Uh, we'll take apart my emergency printer here real quick and just so I can have things very nice and compact. And I'm losing my temperature shield again. Great. Uh, you know what? Good time to test this. Extreme temperature warning. Hey, it worked. I'm under here and I am protected from rain. So that's good to know. I'll need to build some kind of set of stairs or something that leads down there so I can have it as like a roof underneath. Maybe, Extreme you know, maybe I'll get a roof at some point. Let's see. What do I have? Do I have anything new? Reinforced wall corner. Extra protection. I'm not being attacked right now. I am going to want a greenhouse, though. We're going to put that greenhouse... Uh, can I rotate? Yes, I can. How about that? Greenhouse. I'm not sure if it needs power or anything, either. At least I've got some stuff. Oh, you actually have to have all of the resources. It can't just be part of it and do it in a certain order. Oh, okay. That changes things a bit. Let's toss all this stuff in. And I forgot to get all my resources out of that before I broke it down, but at least I still got everything. And it is, I guess, dawn coming. Oh, I, I made him mad. Okay. So, yes, on that note, that's it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. Also, make sure you hit subscribe and tick that notification bell if you haven't done so already. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the game, what you like, what you don't like. If there's any suggestions you want to make to me, I'll go ahead and check them out. So just be sure to post them below. But as always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.